Welcome. Thank you for attending. Our event will begin shortly. For the best viewing experience, be sure to join from a computer. At this time, take a moment to check out our toolbar. Here you can find group chat, where you can chat with other attendees during a live event. Help desk, where you can submit your questions. Meet our local sponsors. Here you'll find information about our sponsors that helped bring us today's event. And the information icon, where you can learn helpful tips about viewing a webinar. Finally, a recording of today's events will be available on the Walk main stage. Thank you again for joining and we will begin momentarily. Hello and welcome to the 2020 Alzheimer's Association Walk to End Alzheimer's. I'm Kristen Beatty and I'm a longtime volunteer as well as a future board chair. I get to be the chairman of the board uh, in 2021 and I'm super excited to serve the state of Colorado. I'm also very thrilled to be here with you this morning and enjoy the walk together and welcome you to the 2020 Walk to End Alzheimer's. I wish I could be with you in person. I know we all wish that we could be together in a bigger group, but I hope that you're enjoying this walk in your community and being safe and healthy. Even though the walk looks a little different today, one thing has not changed, our commitment to end Alzheimer's. And this year, walk is everywhere. It's on every sidewalk, every track, and every trail. Today, you'll be walking in small teams in your communities and while others are doing the same all across the state because we're walking and fundraising for the exact same thing, a world without Alzheimer's and other dementia. I hope there's an air of celebration in your community this morning as we celebrate lives together. However, let's get serious for a moment and talk about the statistics. Currently, more than 5 million people in the United States are living with Alzheimer's disease, and that includes the 76,000 people in the state of Colorado. The funds we raise through this Walk to End Alzheimer's helps the association provide critical care and support, including our 24 by 7 helpline, education programs, and our great resources on our website, alz.org. Your efforts also help the association continue its work, rallying nationwide networks of advocates to speak for those facing the disease. Ultimately, the end of Alzheimer's will come through research and the money you raise is a critical component to this. Currently, the association is investing over $208 million for almost 600 research projects, which is super exciting and such progress for our association. So thank you for everything you're doing today. One day we will end this disease and we're gonna do it together. During this pandemic, Alzheimer's didn't stop and neither did we. We set our goal high for our walk fundraising this year, and you can contribute and make donations, not only all up throughout the day, but through December 31st, which is super exciting. And if you're like me, you all, I always have my phone in my hand. And so the easiest way to do this is to text. Um, and I just wanna make sure I get this right. You text two end alls to the number 51555, and that's the number two, and then end alls, no spaces. And finally, we wanna cheer each other on by taking lots of pictures. So again, if that phone's in your hand, take some pictures and make sure that you post to social media and use our hashtags end alls. And the other hashtag is walk the number two end alls. So you'll definitely be seeing mine if you wanna check me out on social media. Now we're to a very, very important part of the discussion and talking about our local sponsors and all of our sponsors, quite frankly, we're super, super, excited and so thankful for the generous contributions of both our national and our local sponsors. We could not do this without you and are so grateful for your support and how you're helping advance everything we want to do to help end Alzheimer's. So first I'd like to thank our national presenting sponsors.
sponsors. It's so exciting to have companies who are helping us across the nation and locally. So first, I'd like to say a big thank you to Edward Jones. And I'd also like to say a big thank you to CVS Health. We could not do this without you. Thank you so much. My name is Matt McCullough, a principal in our information systems division with Edward Jones and co-chair of My Local Walk to End Alzheimer's in St. Louis. I'm glad to be with you today. For nearly a century, Edward Jones has been in the business of building relationships and helping clients preserve family wealth. Alzheimer's disease has sought to destroy them both. On behalf of the 49,000 Edward Jones Associates, it's an honor to join you in this fight as a Walk to End Alzheimer's national presenting sponsor. Today, I'm proud to share that we recently bolstered our strategic alliance with the Alzheimer's Association, committing $25 million over the next five years. This commitment builds on the $25 million already raised by the firm, our associates, and communities since launching the Alliance in 2016. This year alone, Edward Jones Associates, clients, and their families are participating on thousands of virtual teams by walking individually or with their families in their local neighborhoods with the goal of raising $3 million. But we aren't going to stop there. We will continue to accelerate the fight by funding research, raising awareness, and increasing referrals to vital care and support services until the day there is a cure for Alzheimer's. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Lisa Bazacha, and I am the Chief Human Resources Officer of CVS Health. I am so proud to be here with you today, virtually, to kick off this exciting and innovative event with the Alzheimer's Association. At CVS Health, our purpose is helping people on their path to better health. And we are proud to stand with you on the path to a better future, one where we can stop this devastating disease. On behalf of our nearly 300,000 employees across the country, we are thrilled to join you as a national presenting sponsor of the Walk to End Alzheimer's. We have made a three-year, $10 million commitment to the Alzheimer's Association, and through this partnership, we will raise funds and awareness to advance the cause while helping families facing Alzheimer's and all other dementia diseases by connecting customers with Alzheimer's Association care and support resources. Supporting people living with Alzheimer's and other dementia diseases and their caregivers is important now more than ever as we battle the COVID-19 pandemic. Together with the Alzheimer's Association, we are inspiring our colleagues, our customers, our clients, our patients, and our communities to join the fight against this disease. Thank you to our colleagues that are walking today, and thank you to each and every one of you for your dedication to ending Alzheimer's. I'd also like to thank the 2020 Walk to End Alzheimer's national teams. Woo, national teams. They've joined forces across the country to recruit teams and raise awareness to end Alzheimer's. Let's first hear it for our diamond and platinum national level teams. Woohoo! Next, I'd like to thank our gold level national teams. All right, gold level. Also, thank you to our silver level national teams. Way to go, silver teams. And finally, thank you so much to our member level national teams. We also wanna take the time to recognize a very special group of people, our devoted walk planning committee. And I can say this because I've been on a walk planning committee and I know how hard each of you work. This group of dedicated individuals has worked tirelessly to put this event together and really quickly adapting to everything that's changed in our world and making sure that it is a wonderful experience for you. A huge thank you and congratulations to the committee. We could not do this without you and we thank you for your fundraising efforts in addition to all the love you've poured into the committee work that you've done this year. We are watching you today and we're super excited. I encourage you to take a look at the flowers planted here today. We have drive-by 
view only promise gardens in your community that we hope that you can take the time to go see. We hope you can drive by and be inspired. These flowers, including your flags, represent all of you and are many reasons to end Alzheimer's. Now, I'm trying to be so heartfelt here, and I am so heartfelt about this day and this occasion. It's an amazing walk, no matter how we're putting it together this year. But I have very special stories to read in with regard to each of these flower colors. And so I am gonna read them because I don't wanna, I wanna make sure I don't miss a point. So first, we're gonna talk about the orange flower and what it means. The orange flowers represent people like Kristen Sig, who are all in for the cause, who are the supporters and um, have undying support for ending Alzheimer's. Kristen says, I walk to bring awareness and show my support for those who are affected by this disease. I walk for those that live with this reality and still make the best of each and every day. I walk for the caretakers who give themselves endlessly to those suffering with Alzheimer's. I walk for the daughter that lost her mother too soon, the granddaughter that isn't recognized by her grandfather, and all the families that have been affected by this disease, including mine. Kristen says, I'm honored to join the fight in ending Alzheimer's, and I won't stop until our white flower is a, re is a reality. I walk for a cure. Now we're gonna talk about the purple flower. The purple flower represents people like Colorado Senator Joanne Ganahl, who supports the walk to end Alzheimer's in memory of her mother, grandmother, and uncle. All suffered for many years with the debilitating effects that slowly stole memories and eventually their lives. Her wish is that we find the first survivor as soon as possible. If you have a yellow flower, raise it high. All of the yellow flowers represent walk participants like Carla Villalobos. Carla is one of our amazing caregivers. She supports those living with Alzheimer's and dementia on a daily basis. She says that her residents have become like family. These relationships are unlike any other, so unique and powerful. She walks in hope that one day there will be a cure for Alzheimer's. The blue flowers represent people like Joanna Fix, who is walking today because she is living with Alzheimer's or another dementia. This is what Joanna had to say about living with Alzheimer's disease. This is what Alzheimer's looks like. It looks like me and you. I walk because when I was diagnosed with younger onset Alzheimer's disease at 48 years old, I was totally unprepared and uneducated about this disease. Fortunately, the Alzheimer's Association helped me understand that the disease can affect anyone and that realization lit a fire inside me to educate others about the disease and to help people with Alzheimer's understand that their lives are not over, but beginning in a brand new way. And she signed this note to us, love, Joanna. There's one more flower that we need to add to this garden and we're all very excited about this particular flower. I'm confident that one day we will have a white flower that represents the first survivor of Alzheimer's. Until that beautiful day happens, we must not back down. We must continue to lead the way because together we can end Alzheimer's. Are you ready to join me? Watch this very special countdown video and then let's get started and actually celebrate lives and coming together to work to end this disease. Have a great day and a great walk out there. Thank you.